All right, everybody, I just left the antique store. But while I was there, the woman that was working said, hey, this guy came in. He has a bunch of 1950s and 60s toys that he wants to sell. Uh, I'm going to give the number to you because you guys like to deal in toys. Could not be more excited. I called the guy. He called me back. And um, he's talking Buddy L. He's talking Tonka and some newer stuff that I probably wouldn't be interested in. So I'm very excited to see what this looks like. So I'm going to see if I can take you on if, take you on in with me. If not, I will show you after the fact once we make a deal. All right, so I didn't get to film the actual looking through the toys at the place because it was kind of awkward. Um, I shot him. I was going to shoot him a price, and he said he had another dealer coming later. And so I had to get really aggressive on my price, and I talked to Bob later on. I'm like, Bob, I think I screwed up. I overbid this thing. I ended up winning it. Uh, Went and picked it up today, so let me show you and Bob what we got here. All right, first we're gonna start with this tray over here because it's already open, and Bob's kind of already seen in here. And to be honest with you, this is the first time I'm really going through this to see what we have. So this is a Hubley, and from what I can tell, they go for about 25 bucks online. The rest of this stuff, I don't know much about. So, I don't know, we have ourselves a, a missile launcher. So what that goes to, I have no idea. Look at the race car, man. Those, huh? Look yeah, a little, pretty nice. Little, uh, slides on there, I guess. Put them on there and push the button and they shoot off, apparently. That's a so, nice little set. Yeah, again, I have no idea. This dump truck, huh? I got to be a little out, man. There we go. Oh, oh geez, man. Mary. Oh, geez. The dump works. The dump works. <laughs> Nope. We got boxes full of all of this little trinkety stuff, you know, that you just have, you have no idea what it goes to. Excuse my fingers, I've been painting. So, uh, this is a battery operated forklift. Um, I'd say it's about a hundred bucks online. Uh, but, uh, and I got this little man in another box that goes with it. No, no, he's not that little. <laughs> okay, well, this is a friction, friction operated car. It looks huh. like the pistons go up and down. So, hmm. don't know what the value of that would be. Oh, cool. A little Coca-Cola truck. Huh. That's cool. Yeah. Again, there's just going to be a lot of research that's going to have to be done on this lot. Yeah. Cool looking plastic Jeep. Steering wheels on. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, this one's metal. metal. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, an I think there's an army guy in here. I thought. Oh, fire, fire truck, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, another one. Huh. Oh, there's, oh, here's Tootsie Toy. Oh, Hubbly. Hubbly. Ooh. Cool. Very cool. What, what is this fire truck? Or, I mean, next to the fire truck. Looks like somebody painted that, that one. That does look like a homemade paint job. Is that metal or is it... Uh, it's metal. A rubber. Uh, it's metal. Hey. It's okay. a, it was an old die cast. Oh, nice. It's got a name down here, I think. Someone uh, ruined the value on that, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody will still want it for three or four bucks, probably. Probably put that in the old antique booth. And then we got this um, tin litho. Oh, it, uh, oh, it's got a remote control. Yeah, oh, that's cool. I didn't even see like stuff like that. I didn't even notice that Just in the box. Just the wheels. Uh -huh. probably, oh, yeah, it did. Uh -huh. I thought it did. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, you have to work with it. Oh. Or it must be battery operated or something. Must be, yeah. Well, that's cool. That's pretty cool, man. So, all right, let's open the next box. Here we are again. Here we are again. All right, don't look at the mess behind you. That's my kitchen. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Open it up. Let's just see what we got in here. Oh, oh look at this. Well, wow. well, well. Back Models. 50 cars, man. Look at this. What is it? That is a uh, Mercury. Mercury, huh? Let's see out there. Cadillac. Cadillac. 63 right. Cadillac. Nice. This must be an Itzel. Yeah, it is. 58 Itzel. Look at that. Wow. Jesus, look at all these cars. How awesome is this? Oh, man. Wow. That's where do you get them out of? <laughs> right? Yeah. This is a 58 Ford. Convertible. Okay. See, you get somebody that's old, you know how the cars. You know right? what these are, then. Yeah. Uh, see, that's where you're going to come in handy. I would say, lot of old cars. 59 Buick? No. 
and all this. Yeah, it is a Buick. See, it says Buick right there. Yeah, look at them. But these are awesome, man. No, Oldsmobile. Remember the Oldsmobile had these fins like that. Yeah, that's an Oldsmobile. Wow, 58 O's. And then we have. Well, the hood's opened up on these things, but no engine. Oh, jeez, he just broke the hood. Oh, he didn't. Oh, geez. It goes down this way, well. Oh, 62 Plymouth. Not only did he break the hood, he blew the motor. I <laughs> blew the motor. <laughs> <laughs> put that back with that one before. <laughs> we'll put the transmission back with it. <laughs> All right, next up. Ooh. All right. Mark's tractor, Litho. It's worth about 20 bucks. Yep. This is the king size K13 matchbox. It's worth about 40 bucks. Another wind up tank. Yep, that's also a Mark's brand. It's missing the uh, cannon, which would have sat right there. Yeah. And then we have a, ooh, that's heavy. This is a neat one. This is a uh, coffee tea truck. And it's made. In, it's out of Britain. It's uh, it's not American made. So it's got, it's got the uh, back door still sitting in the back, in, in inside there. It's inside yeah. there. So. But, uh, oh, it's yeah. inside. The, yeah. It's inside here. Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, it's very it's a valuable one. It's more like one hundred and fifty dollars in the, that condition. So. Huh. Yep, and that's in, actually in there. Fifty eight Chevy Impala. Yep. Those oh, go. It's hard to tell. Could be a Cadillac. Hmm. Nice. It's got a metal, it's got a metal, so it's not a, it's not a, mock, a model kit, it's actually a friction. Yeah, it's a friction car. What's that? I see, you just pitch that, it's metal. Yeah, you're going to scrap it? No, yeah. no, no, we're not going to scrap it. Oh, There you go. Marmol. No. Crane, man. Is a big boy. You have any idea what Lumar brand that is? Let's look it over. Hold on, right here. Lumar. Yep, it's a Lumar. That don't look to me about. That's uh, if it was in better shape, that'd be a keeper for me. But uh, Strombecker. Yeah, Strombecker. So this was at the thing. Um, I didn't. I forgot to even look in the box. So I've not seen anything. Uh, he said that later on. He told me he was like, yeah, there's a couple cars in there, but I don't know. So I don't know what we're gonna find. Okay. All right. Got two of these. Looks like the racing set is still here. These must be the cars for it. Oh my gosh. No wheels there, but this is what racing. Else? So they, they'd sit on, yeah. So they would these sit on top of that. that there, yeah. yeah. Another one. Nice. Oh, that's cool as hell, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. Wow. Little midget car, huh? Yeah, I got more car parts, man. Or people. Not people? Yeah. Not racetrack people. Wow. Look at that. Mobile. Champion spark plugs. There you Shell. Go, oh my gosh. Oh my word. Yeah. This is the mother load. This is it, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I had to show this to you. We got it all spread out. The track. Excuse me. You're fine. Got that. Showed you the rails, the cars, tires, extra rims, extra gears, um, two sets of controllers, the power pack. Bob thinks maybe I'll get my money back on this. I know I haven't shared with you how much I paid for this stuff yet. I'll get to that at the end. And more racing stuff. Looks like you see one racing car. Is that metal? Looks like it. Could be. Yeah, it is. Hmm. A mystery box. Oh, okay. All kinds of parts, there's your, man. There's your automotive parts. That's for the that. drivers. And... All right, I got two shoe boxes here. Mystery. Open up. 
Bingo! Whoa! Stagecoach and all the drivers in Western Town. Looks like the Canon, maybe? Is there a Canon? Oh, wow, yeah, look at the old stuff. Huh. Look at all this little stuff. Okay, got the horses and wagon. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to go through all this. Oh, a jet fighter. Oh, look at this. Nice. Look nice. at this. It's an Auburn. Auburn motorcycle. It's about ten bucks, I bet. Oh man, dinosaurs and pigs and all kinds of sheep. Dinosaurs, bears. And pigs. Oh my. Ooh, wagon. That's the chief. Fire chief. There you go. Yeah, we got a Tonka crane. It's got the hook on it and everything, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the driver for the forklift right there. Okay. Yeah. There's your missile. Do you got that missile on it? Oh. That's a rocket. Uh, it goes. I saw it goes, with, it goes with this. At least I'm assuming those go together. Oh my word. I like Here's the metal. The metal. There we go. Now we're talking. There you go. That's what I like because the metal army man. Yeah, saving that There's for another the one. permit collection. But Lieutenant Dane, you ain't got no legs. Well, it's during the war. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his arm, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe this goes on, huh? Huh. That's Bob on the curb. That's the, or on the can. <laughs> that's Slinky. Huh, that's been a while. <laughs> a, pieces of it. What a deal. Three pieces. Four pieces of wood in there, man. Oh. Now where can you find little oh, pieces? Oh, look at this. This is for Bob. This is this is for you. Metal for lying. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now this is cool, by the way. 32 rod ram. Not all there. Sad sack, 27. Incredible. I've seen that. So these are all Japan. Never, never, never played with. All trucks. And then, uh, that's there. Truck. Yeah. Piece, so many truck pieces. Yeah, four, four piece truck. Four piece truck set. So this is the original box. Oh. Never been played with Japan. Yeah, those are permanent collection. Is that a lantern? Batteries must be dead. <laughs> no, it's not a my battery. Is it? What the? Another model kit. Yep, leftover parts. Oh. Yeah. I'll just take this. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm going to make my money back on is the marbles. Oh my goodness. Wow, those are old ones. Holy oh, yeah. cow. These are ones that are good. Yeah. This whole thing, man. Jaguar. We got four wheels or two? What they got underneath? Four, four wheels. wheels. Okay. Cool. Hurley kitty car. Oh, nice. Is that it? We got a tank. A, a tank, tank, a bulldozer, a jet, and some boat. All right, last box, everybody. Oh, yes. There's the antique ones. Wow. Like plastic ones, antique ones. They're all like the old model tees and stuff like that, huh? Yeah. That's Lower and Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on first? No, what's on second? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah. yeah, pretty much just cars. So, interesting. I don't think we need to get them all out. But no, just all older cars. Older models. All right, so you've seen everything, but these are the reasons I bought the lot. These are for the permanent collection. We have a Mark's Searchlight truck, which is cool. It comes with the lens on it, which is, all of those are always broken. Got the truck, the camper truck for the Tonkas. It has the windows on this side, not on that side. So you know which side I'll be displaying. And this guy right here, Oops. That's the uh, Buddy L Hydraulic Highway Maintenance. Now, there are Buddy L Highway Maintenance trucks, but I have yet to see one that says hydraulic on it. So, yeah, those three are going to go into the permanent collection. For everything you've seen, I paid $600.
And now I got to try and get that money back out of everything I don't want. All right, everybody, back to this big toy deal. It's been about a week now, about uh, seven days, eight days. And I listed all the marbles for sale, starting bid $8.99. And that has not gone very well. I've gotten one bid. I've got some watchers. But uh, I'm not going to make much money back. If you remember, I've got to make about $600 back to break even. Uh, but the good news is, is I put these models on. Now, these models that I didn't think had much value, well, I was wrong. Uh, if they've got, if they're from the 1950s, 1960s, and they've got the screws in the bottom, the uh, slotted screws in the bottom, they're actually pretty desirable, and I was a little bit surprised by that. So right here, this first car, uh, 1959 Ford Thunderbirds, 1850. The next one's 67, 53, 51, 41, 1450. And we still have two days and 11 hours to go. Now, let me show you what I did on one of those models is I went ahead and listed it for sale. So I took one of the models, this 1960 Cadillac Fleetwood, I put it on for $93 because that's what the program said was the going price. Two days later, I took a best offer for 80 bucks. All right, guys, as of this morning, on the auctions, we had $467 in bids. I went to work, just got back, went to refresh it and see if it's changed at all. All right, 502. 502 plus we've sold the $80 model. So that means we've made our $582 of our $600 back. We got one hour left in these auctions. All right, everybody, the auctions are finally over. Those three sold for $142. Those two sold for $108. $35.87. Group of marbles sold for $18. $41. $48. $60.99. And there's the other one I sold for $80. So, all in all, we made before shipping $631. So, we did it. We managed to get $600 plus back. So that means all the toys that we kept are free, and then we have a bunch of toys that we're going to be able to sell at the Antique Mall. So very stoked about all that. Very happy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I know this isn't our regular type of video, but I still hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy old toys just like I do. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Peace out, and have a great week, everyone.